What is this clause 8.5? Uh, it tells us to pull out if the first batch is unsatisfactory. And what kind of idiot put a clause in like that? She insisted. It was the only way to secure her business. Anyway, you know, it's the biggest order this factory's ever had. Yes, and if she takes it away, we're completely screwed because of you. We can all hear you outside. We should be working, not listening. We can't help it. This is our jobs on the line as well, you know, so you better sort it. Because unless you two can work together like grown-ups, there'll be a close sign on that door again in a week. How are we doing? Nearly there. Ted left. We've only got an hour. We know. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Mrs. Connor. That just won't do. Right, right. Let me, let me. That's no better, Mr. Tilsley. Why didn't you leave the packing to me, eh? I've got a system. People have tried to mess with it, but it's never the same. Whatever works best for you, Kate. Yeah. You can put together a few more boxes. Shall I get that? No, we need you on buses. You know we should call, and it's not Ghostbusters. Hello? Hi, please, pal. Look, is a minute. I'm just eavesdropping. No, no, Carla, no, you can't just sack me, change your mind, and then expect me to come running back. I don't want to work for someone who can't keep the personal issues out of the workplace, and that goes for my brother, too. Oh. Well, I, I feel much better for that. So you should. Sorry, I was eavesdropping, too. Have I done the wrong thing? I think you make a very good point. Between you and me, my daughter needs people to stand up to her more. Don't tell her I said that, or she'll have me goes for garters. Pain. Yeah. The stitching's good. And the detail works. I told you it would. And these are all ready to go? Yeah, the driver's standing by. Just say the word. I'm the driver, ma'am. OK, well, I'm impressed. Let's get started on the next lot. Good work, team. OK, take an early dart. You deserve it. Yes. Join me in a tip -off? We're all right when we work together. Yes, we are. So, bury the hatchet? I suppose I'll have to. Don't be too enthusiastic. I'm not going to lie, Nick. I prefer you weren't here, but seeing as you are. Well, I suppose you're not too bad at your job sometimes. <laughs> you're not too bad at your job sometimes. It still leaves us with the problem of the PA. Sarah's adamant? Yeah, she gave me a right earful. Mind you, you didn't come off too well either. Yeah, we did put her in an impossible situation. You know, Beth could fill in for a bit, you know. She wasn't that bad. What? She's tough as nuts, isn't she? She stopped us scrapping. Yeah, but we're not scrapping anymore, are we? No, you're right, we won't. As long as I can be across everything, you know, that includes new clients. Deal. OK, deal. So you've made up then? Yeah, we're all hunky dory up that you care. About what I said on the phone. Hey, look, we're sorry. We're out of order. Yes, we're out of order. I I like this job and it's it's coming up to Christmas, and as long as you don't stick me in the middle of whatever's going on yeah, between yeah, you two. We won't. And just treat me with respect. We will. And just don't talk about golf. What? It, it doesn't matter. It's... Do you want your job back or not? Yes. Oh, thank God. But I would like next week off. What? <sighs> Fine. Good. I'll see you in a week, then. 